Hello Libras, this is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe, comment. Love it. Thank you. If you're interested in a personal reading, please visit the website at pinkarianjim.com. Um, if for some reason you guys have trouble with that, then go ahead and just shoot me an email, okay? All right, guys, let's see what's been going on for you guys. Working. Working, working, working. Um, Virgo energy there. You guys may be a cusper. I feel like that's where your focus has been. Um, that's where you're comfortable right now. Uh, you're stable. And I think that is just like, that's a comfort zone for you currently. Okay. What's been going on with the other person? Oh, cars want to fly out. King of Swords, feeling being cold, <laughs> not trying to show you emotion. Um, I feel like this person has been not stalking you, but observing you, trying to learn about you, what makes you tick. And I'm feeling like, you know, this is somebody that you probably are not speaking to. Excuse me, because I'm getting to that you guys are in your own zone right now. Like you're not, you know, extending yourself to anyone. And that has piqued this person's curiosity. So they're they're looking for a way to get your attention. That's what I'm getting here. Aquarius energy. What's keeping Libra from this person? Hmm. Hmm, that was ugly. Try it again. Five of Cups. Some of you are feeling like it's too late to even, um, it's too late to reconnect. Um, you're not feeling regretful, but I'm thinking that it's like this Scorpio energy, feeling like um, there's not enough of a connection between the two of you that could bring you back together. Basically feeling like all is lost regarding this situation here with this individual. Hmm. What's keeping this person from Libra? Judgment. They're still learning. Whatever it is they're trying to figure out about you. They're currently judging you guys here. Scorpio. Strong Scorpio for a lot of you guys, okay? Um, and, and I'm also getting that this person is, is trying to figure out some things about themselves. But they have a hard time looking in the mirror and, um, and, and really seeing what's there, what's looking back at them, okay? Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. What's currently going on with Libra? Show me. Please show me. Ten of Pentacles. I'm trying to tell you. Working. You guys are really getting it in. You're just trying to secure that bag. You know? I think this is more about like your home life. Um, stability. Like, I'm feeling like everything is good in your home, in your family. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. No unexpected emergencies. Um, your money is good. There, there's nothing that is concerning you guys right now as far as your home life um, and your own personal stability. But also what I'm getting here is that... Um, See, we have the eight and we have the nine of pentacles. I mean, the eight and the ten of pentacles. So, the nine of pentacles is not here. And being that it has not shown up yet, I'm feeling like not really that you're looking for a relationship, but you are definitely open to it. Um, you're definitely open to receiving one. Okay. 
but it has to be what what you need for it to be in order for you to like grasp it what's currently going on for them that's also virgo energy what's currently going on for them king of wands being stubborn being stubborn this person very attracted to you but they're also very easily angered this individual okay very easily angered selfish stubborn they are thinking about you very heavily and I'm thinking they're holding themselves back because here with judgment, like I said, they have a hard time looking in the mirror and really seeing, like truly seeing what's staring back at them themselves. There's somebody that that would say, I didn't do anything wrong or there's nothing wrong with how I speak. There's nothing wrong with um how I act, you know, just not really taking responsibility for anything. I feel like they can do no wrong. I'm feeling from this individual. Hmm. What's influencing Libra? Ooh, you guys working very hard, I feel. N not only are you working hard to maintain your home um to save money to make money but I'm, I'm getting that you guys are really struggling not to take notice of this individual as well it's like you only want to think about them because for some reason i'm getting that you guys feel attached to this person There's some fear involved here. There's some toxic energy that is involved between you and this other person. Some codependency. Um, I'm feeling like there's some emotional um, instability in this situation. Maybe some emotional manipulation as well, okay? But you see this person like they need to stay back. They need to stay away from me. That's Capricorn energy. Hmm, what's influencing them? It's Queen of Pentacles. When I picked it up, it was like this, but it kind of spun around. Okay. So, but I'm going to read it in the upright because it's usually what I do anyway. Um, hmm. What I'm getting is this person is waiting on you. What's influencing them is you. They're trying to figure out something about you guys because you almost seem um, untouchable to them. They also feel like you guys think that you are um, too good for them. Could definitely be a Capricorn you guys are dealing with because we have the devil with the Queen of Pentacles um, coming under the devil. Definitely. Leo as well. Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn energy. I feel like... Um, this Virgo energy here is, is your energy, but it could be a Virgo you guys, some of you guys are dealing with, but I'm thinking that they're waiting on you. And, and both of you guys are like judging each, each other. Okay. In this situation. Hmm. What's coming in for Libra? What's coming in for Libra? Look at that. Six of Pentacles. Ha. Ah. Justice, basically. Just a minor for justice. You get what you deserve. You're not going to accept anything less than that anyway. 
So I'm feeling like there's a relationship coming your way. Um, that's going to be everything that you want it to be. Okay. Taurus energy there. Otherwise you'll turn your back. You'll keep it moving. You know, Mhm. Mm you guys are not making any like moves towards anyone though. You have no wands here. Um, very grounded, stable energy you have going on. Maybe just a little sad because you, you're feeling like up until now that um, you haven't been in the right relationships. Um, you, you get involved with people that maybe take you for granted. And um, just a little sadness around that is what I'm feeling. Okay. What's coming in for them? Seven of Cups, feeling confused. Scorpio energy there as well. This person feels like they have options. They may be dating around. They may. But I don't really see that they're dating around. I'm thinking they're more... They don't really know what they want. It's an illusion that they have these options. I can get this one. I can get that one. I can do this. I can do that. A lot of illusions flying around. Because of what I'm getting is that they really do um, want to be in a relationship. I just don't know if they are um, emotionally mature, emotionally available, um, whether their actions are are pure. This is somebody that, that will say that they want to be in a relationship, but then they don't really exhibit the actions of somebody that truly wants to be in a relationship. Um, a lot of illusions surrounding them. Confusion here. What's the advice for Libra? What's the advice for Libra? Ten of Swords. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I'm getting stronger that you guys feel attached to this person. That there's some toxic energy, some codependency um, between the two of you. Okay. This is somebody that is like, has been worried to death overwhelmed with thoughts, overwhelmed with feelings of betrayal, being stabbed in the back, hurt. This is letting all of that go. Detaching. Detaching. Okay. If there was some psychological abuse or manipulation here, I, I'm seeing you guys um, detaching from this situation. Okay. Okay. Not waiting on anybody, not um, waiting for anybody to change or, you know, I, I see there's definitely an ending here mm -hmm. with this situation. Gemini, there, energy. What's the advice for them? Ten of Cups. They need to just be happy. They need to be happy and they really need to. What I'm getting here is that this person is relying on you guys or has relied on you for um, their emotional fulfillment. Like, hmm. because it's almost like they don't have their own, they don't have their own sense of emotional stability. So they look for other people to like supplement.
So it's like, I don't know. Let me, let me pull the outcome card here for you guys and them to see what else I get. What's the outcome for Libra? What's the outcome for Libra? Two of Wands. I'm getting that you guys will um, detach from this devil energy, these overwhelming thoughts that you're having um, about a situation. I'm getting that you're you're gonna you know just separate yourself from this, okay? Hmm. So outcome for them. Outcome for them. So outcome for them. Five of Cups. See, and this is what this is. This is exactly what I was feeling. They need to make themselves happy. They need to do what it takes for themselves okay not look to someone else to build them up or to make them happy or to make them feel good um because i think you're tired of it and i think you're deciding to walk away to go a different path from this individual so guess what once you guys do that here they come with the Five of Cups. Feeling hurt, feeling um, rejected, feeling like, oh my gosh, I've lost Libra. What am I going to do? There's nobody to make me happy. I need somebody to make me happy. Nobody can make us happy. We have to make ourselves happy. <laughs> We can be happy with someone, but nobody can make you happy. Um, so the advice for them is, yeah, to get themselves together and realize that nobody can make you happy. You have to make yourself happy first. You can be happy with someone. So that's Pisces, um, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo. Aquarius, um, maybe Leo's here as well. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.